Good morning, everybody. Did you see the video I sent you, says John. Is this a new one you just sent to, this morning? Or I know you're sending me links to different things all the time. Hello, John. Happy Thanksgiving. So, boom, right in here, right at uh, 1015 Bibby Bobka. Good morning. John Fishman says, hi, Donald. Got that one. Hello, John. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, Donald. All right. And Kevin's card collecting is in the house. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. I don't know if anybody saw my sneak peek where I had an error video going up earlier, but I had to delete that and redo that one. That was one of my Bible readings. I think uh, in error last week, I kind of did a push the button for the wrong video when I went live. Had to exit out and then go back in. But I've got that fixed now. So I had to reschedule and re-record um, one of my uh, videos there. But everything's taken care of. The video with Michael Jordan asking Griffey Jr. for the autograph. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did see that one. That's when they were in, when they were uh, in their White Sox uh <laughs> that was pretty interesting video there. Appreciate you sharing that with me, John. Okay, so let me, before I get too far along here, let me get my, let's see, we got one, two, three. I got three Bibby Bobkas I got to get in here. And two John Fishmans. And two F.J. DeKing. And one Kevin's card collecting and more to get into the giveaway for November. So let me do that real quick. Um, FJ the King, what's the what's that information you put there? Just curious. I appreciate if before you put a link into the chat, you ask me first. Um, wonder how much that Jordan jersey he autographed for Griffey is worth. <laughs> Probably about a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. That would be cool though. Um uh that's the Michael Jordan and Ken Griffey. Okay, okay, no problem. Just wanted to make sure what the link was first. Cause you'd be surprised some of the different things I come on get in my uh in my comments. Uh sometimes I don't want some of those links to go out, so I have to delete some of the comments that I get when people leave comments to my videos. You'd be surprised some of the different things that try to sneak into a channel that somebody might not want there. A jump change for Donald. He can afford it. <laughs> I don't know about that, Kevin, but that's pretty good. Uh, let me... The chat is flying through this morning compared to yesterday where I had all the internet problems. So let me get uh, Bibby Bobka in here. I will be back momentarily here. Okay, it looks like we should be back online yet again. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Kevin said, uh oh, locking up again on me. It's spinning for me. Is it for you? Um, it should be sh loading up soon. With eternity around the circle, I heard you for two seconds. Then back to scanning, spinning back. Bibby Bopka's got, got a thumbs up for me. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Shows four or five watching right now. If I can get my... Uh, I rebooted both my computers, so I know it's not my computer systems. It looks like we're getting back in uh, on live here. So we will keep things rolling as much as possible. And I know one thing, I'm gonna to complain to my internet service provider, that is for sure. You can hear me. I can hear you guys. No, I can't hear you. I can see your, I can see your texts. So we are going to get in to uh, just this baseball card set today in lieu of what took place yesterday, but then I will be uh, getting things set up, I think tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Um, we'll see how things go, but I will do my lecture series in the morning. I don't want to interfere with, I was going to do, open up a box. 
a retail box of Tops Update. Um, I did complete, for those that weren't aware of it last week, um, I did complete a complete set. Wi-Fi has been really weird this week. I think it's because lots of people are using it since they're staying home for Thanksgiving. Um, that probably too. So when, a bazil- uh, when millions and millions of people are using the internet, I mean, that's not uncommon, but let's say, let's say when there's probably... 200 million people out of America that are probably using Wi-Fi. That's probably why it kind of th- ties things up just a little bit. So other than that, we're going to keep plugging along here. Let me get a sip of water. We got a couple minutes here and then I'll get into my history. I have to do one other thing really quick here. Um... Let me take care of something while we are waiting for the time and waiting for more people to show up. see here um i'll be with you guys momentarily i'm watching uh, what's up i've chopped the pre's in the house we're gonna be doing our 2015 baseball card set today our 2015 baseball card set today Let me just double check something real quick here. All right. Got that taken care of. Kevin's still hanging out in the background. I just sent you a text. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and they had cards. So you must have got some cards at Dollar Tree. That's pretty cool there, FJ. All right, let me get back into the stream here for a second. Let me do a refresh because we got about three minutes. I might start a couple minutes early just so I can get into the history lesson here. And do a refresh on my computer so I know where I left off in the chat. So we will be... Let's see, they had 48 packs, and I got 48. You bought all 48 packs? What kind of packs did you get there, uh, FJ? That's pretty cool. Yeah, sometimes when you see the baseball card packs, you want to buy whatever you can find because it's hard to find them in it anymore. I can't find any at Walmart. I can't find anybody at any, any of them at Target. It's crazy. Oh, football. Yeah, I did that one year. I actually did buy some football, but I'm not a big football fan. So, um, did you see Jab's 1972 video? Yeah, that was pretty sad. That was pretty crazy. That was, uh, I didn't watch it live, but I did, I, I do watch a lot of his replays. I did disappointing. Yeah, that was a disappointing video, that's for sure. Oh, Bibby, by the way, I did get a text from uh, my uh, informed delivery, and it looks like I should probably... (laughs) Every time Kevin pops in, it seems like it, 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 it goes south. But here we go. Looks like I pop back on now again. We'll see if it see how long it runs. It is 10:30, so I'm going to get ready to get into my uh history lesson here. Uh do me a favor 
and that way I'll, I'll kind of see it out of the corner of my eye is uh, if you want to tell me that it's spinning again and I don't catch it as I'm going through the, the history lesson. <clears throat> Comcast is putting a cap on internet usage next year. I'm blaming, Com I'm blaming Comcast. They better not. They better not. Oh, yeah, maybe they're going to do that because... Uh, no, I'm not going to go into the politics side right now. But it looks like uh, we're kind of hanging in there. I'm hoping we can get going here. It keeps... Uh, it, it does keep my my stream going even though I do pop out and pop back in uh, switch to Xfinity no I don't have Comcast I have Xfinity I do use Xfinity but uh, I think 90% of the people in my neighborhood use Xfinity <laughs> yep okay so it looks like we're back up and running. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on it. Um, but if you can, if you guys can help me out, do the at sign and type in Donald Blondahl so you and and uh, go ahead and highlight my name so I can see it in the chat. And then I think it'll be much better for if in case I'm not paying attention to the feed here as I do our lesson here. So 2014 Major League Baseball season for the 2015 Topps baseball card set. The 2014 Major League Baseball season began on March 22nd at Sydney Cricket Ground in Sydney, Australia between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The North American part of the season started on March 30th and ended on September 28th. The Major League Baseball All-Star Game 85th edition was held on July 14th at Target Field in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of the Minnesota Twins and the American League uh, beat the National League 5-3 to three with the win. The AL champion earned home field advantage during the World Series. This year, the Houston Astros hosted the Civil Rights Game on May 30th at Minute Maid Park, and they played host to the Baltimore Orioles. All right. This was also the final season of Bud Selig as Commissioner of Baseball. Selig served as the Executive Council Chair. All right. We are back in. It shows uh, I'm up there still. No, you better go back up. I'm watching the frames per second. <laughs> All right. So here we are in 2014, starting in the month of January. January 8th, pitchers Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin and first baseman designated hitter Frank Thomas are elected to the Hall of Fame by the Baseball Writers Association of America. Maddox sees his name appear on 97.2% of the ballots, falling short of the all-time mark still held by Tom Seaver, uh, who was elected on 98.84% of the vote in 1992. Glavin receives 91.9% of the vote, while Thomas is elected with 83.7%. All three men are elected in their first year of eligibility. In the month of February, February 5th, former stars Roger Clemens, uh, Nomar Garcia Para, and Pedro Martinez are selected to the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame, along with longtime radio broadcaster uh, Joe Castagillion. On February 12th, Derek Jeter of the New York Yankees announces that he will retire at the end of this, se the, this season. And the American League Rookie of the Year winner, 1996, and Most Valuable Player, both in the All-Star Game in 2000 and the World Series in 2000. Uh, Jeter ranks first in franchise history for the most games played at bats and hits. On February 21st, Ben Wetzler of Oregon State University is suspended for 11 games.
20% of the college season for violating the National College Athletic Association's rule against using a sports agent during financial negotiations with the Philadelphia Phillies, who selected him in the 2013 MLB draft. So let's see. It's weird that the chat works, but the video spins. I'm back. I wonder if modem is connected well. Uh, I hear you now. Try turning it off and back on again. Uh, I don't want to turn the modem off right now. My modem takes a while to get the signal back again. So um, mine gets loose and I have this happen. Uh, nothing. When is the turkey giveaway? <laughs> when is the turkey giveaway? Turkey giveaway. <laughs> I like that. Let me refresh the chat here so I know where I left off. All right. So at least I can see... We're, we're getting a signal still. We've gone through two months. Let's see how we can move along here. We'll keep trying. So in the month of March is where we're at now. You guys can discuss the turkey giveaway. I don't know. If you want to give me a turkey, I'll take one. <laughs> but my turkey's, my turkey's thawing. i got to go out in the garage and pu put it in the refrigerator today to finish the rest of the thawing process for tomorrow's turkey day. All right, March 22nd, the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the Arizona Diamondbacks for down under sweep in Australia after a 3-1 win behind ace Clayton Kershaw. In the Major League Baseball season opener, the Dodgers remain perfect at Sydney cricket ground with a second consecutive victory over the National League West rival. Hyun Jin Ru uh, combines with seven relievers for a 7-5 victory, beating the Arizona starter Trevor Cahill, who enters the game with a 6-0 record and a 2.01 ERA in 10 previous starts against the Dodgers, but has to leave the inning in the fifth, trailing 3 to nothing. On March 27th, the uh, Detroit Tigers announce... The club has agreed to terms with first baseman Miguel Cabrera on an eight-year, $248 million contract extension through the 2023 season, with two vesting options for the 24 and 25 season. After the two years and $44 million that's left on Cabrera's current deal expires, he will be the highest paid player in baseball in terms of average annual value, the $31 million AAV will beat the previous record of $30.7 million set by pitcher Clayton Kershaw, which was reached when the Los Angeles Dodgers signs him to a seven-year $215 million extension this offseason. At age 30, Cabrera captures his third consecutive American League batting crown. Becoming the first Tigers player to lead the leg and hitting three straight seasons since Ty Cobb did so from 1917 through 1919. Previously, Cabrera led the American League with a 330 batting average, 44 home runs, 139 runs batted in during the 2012 season to become the first player to capture the Triple Crown since Boston Red Sox outfielder Carl Yastrzemski did so in 1967. It marks the 14th time since the since 1900 in which a big leaguer won the Triple Crown. In addition, Cabrera earns the American League Most Valuable Player Award for the second consecutive year in 2013, holding Hal Newhauser as the only two players in Detroit history to win the award in back-to-back -back seasons. On March 28th, Mike Trout reaches an agreement with the Anaheim Angels on a six-year $144.5 million contract extension. Trout is a unanimous choice for the American League Rookie of the Year in 2012, and he finishes second in American League Most Valuable Player voting to Miguel Cabrera in 2012 and 13. Through 2013, the 22 year old outfielder hits 314 with 62 home runs and 196 RBIs. All right, it looks like we're back up and running. So in the month of April, April 4th at Coors Field, Charlie Blackman. All right, let's try this again here. See if we can stay up there. April 22nd at Nationals Park, Albert Pujols of the Los Angeles Dodgers 
or Angels of Anaheim becomes the 26th player to hit 500 home runs in the major leagues. After hitting his 499th home run, a three-run shot of uh, Taylor Jordan in the first inning of the Angels' 7-2 victory over the Washington Nationals. Pujols hits his milestone home run with one runner on base in the fifth inning, also off Jordan. Pujols becomes the first player to hit his 499th and 500th home run in the same game, as well as the third youngest player at 34 to hit his 500th home run. Jimmy Fox and Alex Rodriguez had both reached this milestone at age 30 at 32 years of age. April 23rd at Wrigley Field celebrates its 100th birthday with former Chicago Cubs player on hand for the pregame festivities. The Arizona Diamondbacks spoil their party, however, rallying from a, from a 5-2 deficit with five runs in the ninth inning to defeat the Cubs 7-2-5. Then we have the month of May. May 14th, Major League Baseball announces that the original scoring decision made on May 9th at Globe Life Park has been re- reversed and that David Ortiz has been awarded a hit for the fly ball that fell between two Texas Rangers fielders. Ortiz comes to bat with two outs in the bottom of the seventh inning. At that point, the Rangers pitcher, Hugh Darvish, had retired 20 straight Boston Red Sox hitters. Ortiz hits a high pop into right field. Then second baseman Rufnad Odor, who is playing in shallow right field in a defensive shift, uh, gets under the ball as Alex Rios starts coming toward him. Rios backs off and Odor cannot catch the ball as it drops just beyond his glove. The drop ball is originally scored an error on the right fielder, Rios, by official scorer Steve Weller, while Darvish still takes a no-hitter into the ninth inning, but Ortiz breaks it up with a two-out single. Ortiz and the Red Sox appealed the controversial decision to Major League Baseball, and it's overturned after a review. David Ortiz homers twice in the second consecutive night, to lead the Boston Red Sox past the Minnesota Twins 9-4 at Target Field. Ortiz's first homer is number 383 in a Boston uniform, moving him past Jim Rice for sole possession of third place on the all-time list. Only Ted Williams with 521, Carl Yastrzemski with 452, have hit more home runs in a Red Sox uniform than Ortiz. Additionally, his second shot represents his career 442nd homer and moves him into a tie with Dave Kingman for 39th place on the MLB all-time home run list. On May 25th, at Citizens Bank Park, Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Josh Beckett no hits the Philadelphia Phillies six to nothing, the first no hitter by a Dodger since Hideo Nomo in 1996, throwing 128 pitches and striking out six batters along the way. Beckett, who had turned 34 old, years old ten days earlier, becomes the oldest no hit pitcher since 40 year. Old Randy Johnson heralded a perfect game in 2004. The no-hitter is also the first pitched against the Phillies since the St. Louis Cardinals' Bob Forsch in 1978, as well as the first in a Phillies home game by a visiting pitcher since Montreal Expos' Bill Stoneman in 1969. On May 29th, Edwin Encarnacion of the Toronto Blue Jays hits uh, two home runs in a six. 8-6 to six loss to the Kansas City Royals at Rogers Center. His home run total for the month of May sits at 16, which ties the mark set in 1955 by Mickey Mantle for the all-time American League record in May and is just one shy of Barry Bonds for the Major League Baseball record. In addition, Encarnacion Uh, matches a major league record with his fifth multi-homer game in a single month, and Albert Bell did it in September 1995, and Harmon Killebrew in May of 1959. All right, looks like we're still doing good there. Uh, mine gets loose. Da 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 da. Uh, F. J. DeKing, Donald, I saw that you're. Uh, 
you're missing for your 2020 uh, top stadium club set. If you won Ethan's giveaway and got the st- the stadium club, that would maybe get you some of your missing cards. Yeah, that would be cool. I wouldn't mind winning that top stadium club uh, box that he's given away in his giveaway. We'll see what happens. I think he's done that giveaway um, tomorrow night during his sale. To the best of my knowledge, I'm pretty sure he's having a sale tomorrow night, and that is what that would that would be nice. It would give me a chance to open up another box of Top Stadium Club and see if I can get some more of my missing cards. But that would be very cool. Thanks there, FJ. Um, but you never know. You you might win too. You just never know. All right, so let's get into the month of June. June 1st, John Lester pitches seven shutout innings with 12 strikeouts, and Brock Holt hits four doubles with two RBIs and one run, helping the Boston Red Sox complete a three-game sweep of the Tampa Bay Rays with a 4-0 win at Fenway Park, expanding their winning streak to seven games. On June 9th, Lonnie Chisholm, Chisholm Hall of the Cleveland Indians continues one of baseball's most unlikely first half surges, going 5-for-5 five five with three home runs batted in in a 17-7 to seven route of the Texas Rangers at uh, Arlington Ballpark. Only three other big leaguers and none since Fred Lynn, 1975, have ever collected at least that many hits, home runs, and RBIs in a single game. Beside Chisholm Hall is the only one ever to reach the milestone with a perfect 5-for-5 five five at the plate. All right. Uh, oh, I thought the giveaway was today and the sale was tomorrow. I don't know. Is he doing the giveaway today? <laughs> if Donald wins, it's fixed. <laughs> oh, boy. I think Ethan said the giveaway was Wednesday. Okay, maybe he is doing the giveaway today. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. I, I, I'm i never known always to be right. Uh, yeah, I know there's a chance, but I sometimes had good luck and other times I have bad luck. John, yeah, I thought the giveaway was today and the sales tomorrow. It it might be. It might be. I can't remember exactly for sure what Ethan said. Maybe if he pops into the stream like he sometimes does, maybe he'll give us a heads up when he gets here. All right, June 13th, Greg... Greg, Gregory Polanco goes 5 for 7 in the Pittsburgh Pirates 8 to 6 13 inning victory over the Miami Marlins at Marlins Park. Polanco also delivers his first major league home run, a two run shot in the 13th that proved to be the game winner, becoming the only player in the modern era to have five hits and a home run in one of his first four MLB games, as well as the second. Fastest rookie to collect a five-hit game. On June 14th, Jimmy Rollins becomes the all-time leader in Philadelphia Phillies history, surpassing Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt with career hit number 2,235 against Edwin Jackson and their 7-4 win over the Chicago Cubs at Citizen Bank Park. In a 15-year career with the Phillies, Rollins wins four glove, gold gloves, makes three all-star teams and claims the 2007 National League MVP award. He is a member of the of the club's 2008 World Series championship team and is also the top 10 of nearly every offensive category for the 132-year-old franchise. On June 21st, former third baseman Tim Wallach announces Dave Van Horn are inducted into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame along with former general manager Murray Cook and the late executive Jim Ridley, both native Canadians. On June 24th, the Atlanta Braves outfielders B.J. Upton and Justin Upton match a major league record when they both homer in the Braves' 3-2 win over the Houston Astros at Minute Maid Park. The Upton brothers have now homered as teammates in the same game four times. The only other brother brothers duo to match this total are Vladimir and Wilton Guerrero and Jason and Jeremy Giambi. On June the 29th, Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles Dodgers com- 
completes uh, one of the most impressive calendar months for a pitcher uh, in Major League history, striking out 13 batters in seven scoreless innings in a 6-0 win over the St. Louis Cardinals at Dodger Stadium. Kershaw goes 6-0 with a uh, 0.82 ERA and 61 strikeouts in the month, including his first career no-hitter on June 18th while completing the first six win month for a Dodgers pitcher since Hideo Nomo in 1995. Kershaw becomes the only pitcher to be unbeaten with that many wins, that many strikeouts, and an ERA that low in a single calendar month, extending also his personal streak to 28 consecutive scoreless innings. Exceeded in Los Angeles' history uh, only seven times, led by Oral Hershiser. Urshizer's MLB record 59. Previously, only three other pitchers have gone 6-0 and with sub-1.0 ERAs uh, and 50 or more strikeouts in a month. The aforementioned Nomo in June 1995, Randy Johnson in April 2000, and Justin Verlander in June of 2011. I'll have to go in about five minutes. No problem there. Understand. We need Deerman here to clear it up. Yeah, Deerman would clear it up if he popped in here. He's he's one of Ethan's uh, bringing the hammer down moderators on his channel. That's pretty nice that him and Ethan are doing well there. And that. There we go. Now I think we're back on again. We got a super chat from Criterium Racer. <laughs> Criterium Racer's got a dollar intermission here as we as we go to town here. All right, let me get you there, Criterium Racer. Get you into the giveaway for the month of November. Get you another en entry here. Thanks for popping in there, Criterium Racer. Appreciate you being here. And thank you for that $1 super chat. Really appreciate that. Okay. Let me get this saved. All right. Let me get back into the stream here now that I got it restarted again. Now we're down to only three people watching, but that is okay because we will get through this one way or another today. All right. So as we move on through the into the month of July. Okay. So on July 4th, the 4th of July, Independence Day, Clayton Kershaw nearly pitches a no-hitter against the Colorado Rockies again, allowing just two singles over eight innings. Hanson Zhang no, now it's four people watching. Thanks, Sarah Henson Zhang, for popping into the stream here. We did have eight people earlier. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Appreciate it. Let me get some more people trying to show up in the stream here. Um, over eight innings at the Los Angeles, as the Los Angeles Dodgers beat the Rockies nine to nothing at Coors Field. Kershaw strikes out eight and walks one, allowing singles to. Nolan Arenado and DJ LeMahieu extending his scoreless streak to 36 innings before being replaced by a pitcher hitter, a pinch hitter in the ninth. Kershaw silences the top hitting team in the majors, nearly matching the no hitter he threw against the Rockies on June 18th at Dodger Stadium. Then we have July 10th, Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles Dodgers wins his eighth straight game, a 2-1 to -one win over the San Diego Padres at Dodger Stadium. But his scoreless streak comes to an end at 41 innings as he gives up a home run to Chase Headley in the sixth frame. Kershaw comes within 18 innings of the major league record set by Earl Hershiser, who ended the 1988 season with 59 straight scoreless innings. The two-time Cy Young Award winner, Kershaw, finishes with a complete game three-hitter while striking out 11 and walking only one. Since Hershiser, there have been two longer scoreless streaks 
then Kershaw, as Brandon Webb went 42 straight in 2007, and R.A. Dickey went 44 straight in 2012. Now Kershaw ranks third on the Dodgers' all-time list behind Hershiser and Don Drysdale, whose uh, 58 inning scoreless streak stood from 1968 until Hershiser took it down in 1988. On July 11th, Araldus Chapman of the Cincinnati Reds strikes out uh, Jordy Mercer in the ninth inning of a 6-5 victory over the Pittsburgh Pirates at Great America Park to set a major league record dating back to 1900. Chapman becomes the pit, the pitcher with the most consecutive relief appearances without a with a strikeout, fanning at least a batter in his 40th consecutive game during a streak that began August 21, 2013, he achieves the feat while striking out 83 in 42 innings of work. Chapman surpasses Bruce Sutter, who did so in 39 straight games from June 10th to October 2nd, 1977, on this accent, uh, on, the, on his ascent to the top. Of the first. He also surpasses Jeff Montgomery 32 straight games from June 18th to September 5th, and Eric Gagne 35 games from July 18th to April 10th, 2004. All right, on July 13th, Madison Boomgardner and Buster Posey uh, become the first pitcher catcher battery in Major League history to each hit a grand slam end the game, boosting the San Francisco Giants to a 8-4 victory over the Arizona Diamondbacks at AT AT&T Park. Boomgardner also becomes the first pitcher in 48 years to hit two grand slams in a single season. Previously, he had a grand slam on April 11th against the Colorado Rockies. The last pitcher to launch two slams in a season was Tony Collinger who hit two Grand Slams in a single game for the Atlanta Braves on July 3rd, 1966. Um, Is Ethan's sale tonight? No, I'm pretty sure his sale is tomorrow night, unless he changed it to Wednesday. If he did, I won't be able to be there because I'll be in church tonight. But uh, that's to the best of my knowledge. As far as I remember, I thought he said he was going to do a sale on Thursday evening. Uh, again, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. All right. On July 14th, Andrew Velasquez sets a major league record with his 72nd consecutive game, safely reaching base. He breaks the record of 71 set by Kevin Millar in 1997 and tied Kevin Kuklis in 2003. Velasquez's streak runs from April uh, the 22nd through July 16th when it ends at 74 consecutive games. On July 15th, the American League defeats the National League 5-3 during the 85th (laughs) and then John says, Donald, you are never wrong. Uh, National League 5-3 during the 85th MLB All-Star Game played at Target Field. Mike Trout hits a first-inning RBI triple before scoring a run and later drives in the winning run with a double in the fifth to claim the most valuable player honors in what turns out to be Derek Jeter's final All-Star Game. On July 18th at Yankee Stadium, Derek Derek Jeter becomes the all-time leader in games played at shortstop. With the score tied 2-2, he singles off Mike Leak to lead off the inning, then scores ahead of Jacoby Ellsbury's uh, home run for the eventual winning run in the Yankees' 4-3 victory over the Cincinnati Reds. The game is Jeter's 2,610th at shortstop, breaking Omar Vizquel's all-time record. Okay, On July 21st, the Boston Red Sox... Route the Toronto Blue Jays 14 to 1. Uh oh, commercial break. We got John Fishman with a $2 super chat. <laughs> Ooh, you can hear that one. <laughs> All right, John, hold on. Commercial identification break here for John Fishman. Get your two entries in here. 
for the November giveaway, which we will be doing this Saturday, by the way. And we'll probably do that right after I go through sorting baseball cards, searching for the hidden gems, finishing off my first of three, three boxes in this series. But I do have more cards that we will be able to go through down the road. So, uh, Ethan sale is tomorrow and the giveaway is tonight. Thank you, Chuck, for, Chuck, for, uh, clarifying that. So do you know what time he's doing the giveaway? Just kind of curious if I can catch it before I go to church or just got to watch the replay later. We'll figure things out there, but let me save this really quick here. Got John entries in there for his $2 super chat. Appreciate that, John. And thanks for popping in there, Chuck. Nice to see you today. Hopefully you are doing well, sir. All right, let me get back into our content. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so that means that'll be 4 o'clock this afternoon for me. So I will be able to watch his giveaway video then, hopefully, before I head to church this afternoon. All right. So let's continue on here. All right. So July 22nd at Yankee Stadium, Derek Jeter becomes the all-time leader in doubles in a New York Yankee uniform. The record double comes in the ninth inning off Neil Kotz of the Texas Rangers and gives Jeter 535 for his career, breaking a tie he had shared with Lou Gehrig for first place. The Yankees defeat the Rangers 2-1 to in 14 innings as Chase Hutley makes his debut with the team after being traded from the San Diego Padres earlier in the day. Singles to score Brian Roberts with the winning run. All right, on July 23rd, David Ortiz hits a three-run home run in the Red for the Red Sox. His fourth in three games, but Boston loses its second straight to the Toronto Blue Jays 6-2-4. All right, the three runs batted in give Ortiz 1,501 for his career, making him the 53rd player in Major League history with 1,500 or more RBIs. Just ahead of Ortiz on the all-time list is Hall of Famer Mickey Mantle with 1,509. The homer is Ortiz's 455th, tying him with Adam Dunn for 35th on the career list. Ortiz now has 37 career home runs in Toronto, passing Alex Rodriguez for the most all-time by a visiting player at Rogers Center. All right. Then we've got uh, July 25th at AT AT&T Park, Yasiel Puig, Hits three triples in Los Angeles' 8-1 victory over the San Francisco Giants. The triples are among five by the Dodgers, the other two coming from D. Gordon and Matt Kemp during the Dodgers' uh, five-run fifth inning. The five triples tie a franchise record for most in a game, set in 1921. In addition to becoming the first player with Three triples in one game since Minnesota's Denard Span in 2010, Puig also ties the franchise record for triples in a game by Brooklyn, Brooklyn's uh, Jimmy Skeckard in 1901. July 26, the Baseball Hall of Fame changes a rule of, on eligibility by reducing the number of years a player can be on the ballot from 15 to 10. It is the first time Hall of Fame ruling changed since 1991 when players on baseball's permanent ineligible list were barred from appearing on the ballot, a move that prevented all-time hits leader Pete Rose from being considered. Due to a grandfather clause, three players with more than 10 years on the ballot will remain on the ballot in 2015. Don Mattingly, Alan Trammell, and Lee Smith, who will be on the ballot uh, for their 15th, 14th, and 13th years, respectively. On July 28th at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Derek Jeter collects his three hits in the New York Yankees' 4-2 loss to the Texas. All right, baby, see every everyone tomorrow. All right, baby, you take care. Thanks for popping in here. 
and uh i'll i don't know if yeah i don't have your information so i can't text you but um as long as uh i'll probably save your box for for friday since tomorrow's a holiday and it'll probably i'm, I'm probably just going to record up my stream for tomorrow and it'll just be the uh the half hour lesson and then we will do uh yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure my next biography for my Hall of Fame Friday is going to be short. Cause so we can do more stuff there. I can do my uh, retail box of uh, Tops Update. And then uh, go through a family mail call package, hopefully from Bibby Bobka. At least part of it. We'll have to see. I know it's a big, big box coming up there. Uh, John Fishman. Helpless, helpless, helpless. Donald, do you listen to Neil Young? Uh, not too much. I'm not a big music listener, but we do, me and my wife do listen to music every once in a while. All right. So, uh, where was I here? Laugh out loud, Jeff, Jeff DePriest. All right. July 28th at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Derek Jeter collects three hits in the New York Yankees 4-2 loss to the Texas Rangers with 3,420 career hits. He passes Yastrzemski for 7th place on the all-time hits list. On July 29th, the Dodgers announced that legendary Hall of Fame broadcaster Vin Scully will return for his 66th season in 2015. Scully, at 86, began broadcasting Brooklyn games soon after turning 22 in 1950 and has not left the team since. He became the team's primary play-by-play -play man <coughs> Excuse me. when Red Barber joined the New York Yankees in 1953 and accompanied the Dodgers to Los Angeles before the 1958 season. Scully was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1982. And then at Wrigley Field, the Chicago Cubs defeat the Colorado Colorado Rockies 4-3 in a 16-inning marathon that lasts 6 hours and 27 minutes, with both teams out of pitchers after 15 innings. The Cubs turn back to cat, turn backup catcher John Bar Baker and the Rockies to starter uh, Tyler Matzik to pitch the 16th. Baker pitches a scoreless top half of the inning, then, after leading off the bottom half with a weak, with a with a walk against Maztec, scores the winning run on Starlin Castro's sacrifice fly. Baker becomes. Okay, I think I am back yet again. We will try this one more time. <laughs> oh boy. I hate this. Okay, let's. Let's get going back into August. We will uh, try and get going and rolling again since it looks like we're back up and running. Okay, the month of August. August 5th, Felix Hernandez allows one run on four hits and one walk while striking out eight batters in eight innings, leading Seattle, the Seattle Manners to a 4-2 victory against the Atlanta Braves at Safeco Field. All right. It is his 15th straight start of the season, dating back to May 18th, in which he works at least seven innings and allows two earned runs or fewer. All right. Uh, the longest such streak in Major League history. Hernandez has posted an 8-2 record. Anybody back in here with me yet? Chose on back end. Looked like somebody else popped back in. All right. Uh, with a 1.42 earned run average with 114 innings and five no decisions in those outings, Gaylord Perry started 15 straight games of seven or more innings with two or fewer earned runs for the Cleveland Indians 1974, and Hernandez has now equaled that mark. On August the 6th, the San Diego Padres announced the hiring of... A.J. Preller as their new general manager. The Padres organization was seeking to top 
a top, seeking a top talent evaluator and someone who could make an impact in the international market. Well, Preller, a longtime assistant GM of the Texas Rangers, is also a well-respected person in the field of international scouting. His hiring includes a six-week process that commenced on June 22nd after the San Di- after San Diego dismissed Josh Burns following his two-and-a-half-year tenure. On August the 9th, Derek Jeter hits a single off Cleveland Indian starter Corey Kluber and in the process surpasses Honus Wagner for sole possession of sixth place on the Major League Baseball all-time hits list. It was the 3,431st Jeter hit during his 19 seasons with the New York Yankees. Even though the Yankees lose at home 3 to nothing, it is an historic achievement for the shortstop who has been the icon of the franchise. Jeter, who announced this would be his final season on February 12th, entered the year with 3,316 hits. He, he had passed Paul Molitor and Carl Yastrzemski on the all-time list this season before moving past Wagner on, on this game. The only players in Major League history with more hits than Jeter are Pete Rose, Ty Cobb, and Hank Aaron, Stan Musial, and Tris Speaker. All right, Albert Pujols leads off the bottom of the 19th inning with a walk-off home run in the Anaheim Angels outlast the Boston Red Sox 5-4 to four in the longest game played in the major leagues this season. Pujols' 514th career home run and 22nd of the season comes on a 3-2 pitch from Brandon Workman uh, ending a six-hour, 31-minute marathon in which both teams used nine pitchers and 558 pitches are thrown. Okay. Left Behind Times is in the house. How you doing there? Hopefully you are doing well. I've been trying to catch up on your uh, your content as well. Uh, I watched a couple of your videos last night. I think I've almost watched all of your videos now. So I will be anxiously awaiting when you post new videos up there, uh, Blake. All right. So, uh, dun, dun, dun. on August 16th, David Ortiz hits a two-run double in the eighth inning that c- secures the Boston Red Sox 10-7 victory over the Houston Astros at Fenway Park. Ortiz, who ties a career high with six RBIs, uh, also launches a pair of two-run home runs, the first of which was his 400th uh, long ball in a Boston uniform to join Hall of Famers Ted Williams and Carl Yastrzemski as the only players to hit 400 home runs while playing for the Red Sox. Williams hit 521 home runs and Yastrzemski 452. Both spent their entire careers with the Red Sox. Ortiz becomes the 25th player in Major League history to record 400 home runs uh, for one team. He has 459 home runs in his career, which started with the Minnesota Twins and is tied with Adam Dunn for 35th place on the MLB home run list. All right. On August the 19th, Major League Baseball slightly alters history with a scoring change to the game played between the New York Yankees and Cleveland Indians on August the 8th. Uh, Represented by uh, Joe Torrey, MLB reverses the official scorer's call that gave Derek Jeter what was at the time his career 3,430th career hit, which tied Hon- Hon- Honus Wagner for sixth place on the MLB list. And originally, official scorer David Freeman ruled the first plane, first inning play at Yankee Stadium a single. That play has now been ruled an error on Indians' first baseman. Carlos Santana, who could not clearly handle throwing from shortstop. Jose Ramirez, initially, Jeter was credited with passing Wagner with an infield single against pitcher, Cleveland pitcher Corey Kluber on August the 9th. Now that is the hit that ties Wagner, his 3,431st hit, a double off Bud Norris of the Baltimore Orioles on August 11th. 
at Camden Yards is the official hit that gives Jeter sole possession of sixth place on the all-time list. On August the 20th, David Ortiz goes 4-for-4 four four and belts his 30th home run of the season in an 8-3 loss to the Anaheim Angels at Fenway Park. At the age of 38, the slugger produces his 8th season of 30 or more homers for the Boston Red Sox, tying him with legendary Ted Williams for the most in franchise history. <clears throat> On August 28th at AT&T Park, San Francisco Giants pitcher Yusimiro Pettit etches himself into Major League Baseball history by retiring his 46th consecutive batter in the third inning of a 2-1 victory over the Colorado Rockies. Pettit, who was only one strike shy of a perfect game last September, retires the first eight Rockies hitters, establishing the marks by striking out Charlie Culberson. The 29-year-old journeyman from Venezuela began amassing his record total at the end of a July 22nd start at the Philadelphia Phillies. Then came six consecutive Then came six consecutive appearances out of the bullpen, mostly in his role as San Francisco's long reliever. The previous major league record of 45 consecutive batters retired in a row was set by Chicago White Sox pitcher Mark Bueller. Bueller, uh, in the 2009 season. Only two other pitchers have retired over 40 consecutive batters in in the major leagues. In 1972, Giants starter Jim Barr set both the Giants franchise and National League records by retiring 41 straight batters, which was matched in 2005 while by uh, White Sox reliever Bobby Jenks in the American League. Pettit makes today's start in place of struggling Tim Lincecum, who was available out of the bullpen. Pettit allows one run on four hits, strikes out nine, and walks none in six innings, uh, carving out his own slice of baseball lore after being close to pitching the 24th perfect game in Major League history last year, Arizona Diamondbacks pinch hitter Eric Chavez turned spoiler when he looped a two-out single in the ninth inning off a 3-2 count. <clears throat> On August the 29th, Mookie Betts becomes the youngest Boston Red Sox player to hit a grand slam in 49 years when he belted a two-out 94-mile-an-hour fast fastball bases loaded home run against Chris Archer. The second inning grand slam gives the Sox an early 8-0 lead over the Tampa Bay Rays at Tropicana Field. Eventually they would win 8-4 at age 21. And the, the, rook, the rookie Betts is the youngest Sox player to smash a grand slam since 20-year-old Tony Congilano. Uh, hit one off the Washington Senators Buster Narum on August 24, 1965. With his blast, uh, Betts also helps rookie pitcher Anthony Ranuto uh, earn the victory. Coincidentally, Conigliaro hit his grand slam in support of rookie winning pitcher Jim Lindbergh on the 9-4 victory at Fenway Park. All right, and then on August 30th, Billy Gardner at the helm. The Syracuse Chiefs claim the first International League North Division pennant title in 25 years with a 6-2 victory over the Pawtucket Red Sox at McCoy Stadium. Washington Nationals number 5 prospect Steven Souza, named International League MVP early in the week, drives in three runs, including a two on a fifth inning double that gives the Chiefs a 5-2 lead. Additionally, Pitching pitcher Mitch Lively records a career high 11 strikeouts over six innings, retiring 11 straight batters at one point, facing over two over the minimum over his uh, final five innings. Then we move into the month of September. Let me pop in the chat real quick. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Da 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 da. Hello, sir. Uh, let's see. I'm doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Should have video up by this weekend. That's cool. Can I suggest a few guys for your Playo Bio series? Oh, that's no problem there. Uh, Blake, you're more than welcome to do that. I just added one to the list for uh, John Fishman. He wants me to do Bartolo Colon. But you are more than welcome to give me any anybody can do that at any time and i'll add it to the series i won't guarantee when i'll get to it but i will as long as people do um pretty much what i would request possibly um that it not that it just be some star players or some players that you think might make it into the into the hall of fame um, the reason I'd rather do that is I am going to do uh, my new Hall of Fame Friday series. I started with uh, uh, Hank Aaron. Um, I'm going to um, do all of the Baseball Hall of Famers. So uh, that could be a, a rather long venture for only doing 52 a year with over... I think there's over 350 people in the Hall of Fame. Um, so that series will take a while. So I may double up some when I have short biographies for certain players. But let me just write these names down. And yes, I will add them to the list. What I'll do is I'll make a note. And if I've already done that player, I will tell you, uh, I will mention then that it's on my list. I did create a... Uh, a biography playlist and I will add the names as I get to them so let me get these real quick Nick Markakis A R K A K I S Gary Sheffield it sounds familiar but I can't remember if I did Gary or not Nick won't make Hall of Fame, but Gary might, and Dion was a unique star in his own right. Oh, no problem. No problem. Because uh, that way, if they do make it into the Hall of Fame, then I do not have to worry about creating it. I'll just add it to my Hall of Fame list. S-H-E. Gary Sheffield, and then Dion Sanders. Oh yeah, Deion Sanders. Wasn't he a football player too? I think that Deion Sanders was a football player. Or maybe I'm mixing him up with somebody else. Alright, so Nick Markakis, Gary Sheffield, and Deion Sanders. I'm going to say BIOS series. Frank's Card Corners in the house. How you doing there, Frank? Thanks for popping in here. Appreciate you being here, brother. All right, my my brother from another mother on the East Coast. <laughs> All right. So, yep, baseball and football. I thought Deion Sanders played football. So that could be an interesting... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll probably go over primarily his baseball bio, but that is cool. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone tomorrow. Thanks there, Frank. I'm sure you'll be busy with family. Let me continue on here, moving into the month of September here. Looks like we have a strong signal going on right now. We'll see how long it stays up there. Uh, September 1st, the Houston Astros announced that they relieved Bo, Bo Porter of his managerial duties. Tom Wallace will take over as interim manager through the remainder of the 2014 season. Additionally, the Astros also announced that bench coach Dave Tremblay was dismissed as well. Adam Everett will join Houston's coaching staff, replacing Tremblay as bench coach. The remaining coaches will continue in their current roles. Porter was hired to take over a rebuilding club that had one of the lowest payrolls in majors in the majors in the last year and finishes with 51 victories and a club record 
111 losses. Nevertheless, the Astros posted a 59-79 and record in Porter's second full season as a manager, having already surpassed their win total from each of the previous three seasons. All right. On September 5th, the Arizona Diamondbacks removed Kevin Towers from his general manager position, ending his nearly four-year stint with the organization. The club says the tower, that Towers has been offered another position within the organization and is considering the opportunity. Towers becomes the second National League Western Division GM to be dismissed during the 2014 campaign as San Diego Padres GM Josh Burns was let go in July. On September 7th, Nelson Cruz hits two home runs, one triple, and drives in seven runs in the Baltimore Orioles' 7-5 win over the Tampa Bay Rays at Tropicana Field. Cruz hits a two-run homer in the top of the 11th inning to break a 5-5 tie as he becomes the 19th big leaguer to have at least seven RBIs and drive in all of his team's run in a single game. On September 9th, a total of 42,400 or 42,411,194 people fill the seats in minor league baseball camp games this season, mark, marking the 10th consecutive year that the organization has drawn an excess of 41 million fans across its 176 teams in 15 leagues. The 2014 attendance figures uh, rank third, only behind 2008's all-time record-setting attendance of 43.3 million and 42.8 million in 2007. All of minor league baseball's uh, top 10 regular season attendance years have been during the last decade, signaling in part the growth and stability of the organization. All right, September 11th, the Diablos Rojos del Mexico beat the Pericos de Puebla 9-8 in 10 innings, completing a four-game sweep and taking their 16th Mexican League championship to set a league record. Manny Acosta is the winning pitcher, while Juan Carlos Gamboa hits a walk-off homer in the bottom of the 10th to steal the victory. All right. On September 15th, Jacob deGrom ties a major league record by striking out the first eight batters he faced. Houston Astros pitcher Dim Deshaies held that mark by himself since 1986 when he struck out the first eight batters in a game against the Los Angeles Dodgers. This time, the 26-year-old New York Mets prospect completes his feat with a career-best 13 strikeouts and seven innings, allowing three earned runs and six hits and one walk, but <clears throat> did not have a decision in the Mets' seven, six to five loss to the Miami Marlins at City Field, dating back to August 23rd. Degrom had gone 28 innings without earning, uh, without allowing an earned run. A viable candidate for the uh, Rookie of the Year award. He also hurled seven scoreless innings and recorded 11 strikeouts, giving the Mets their 4,000th franchise victory on July 8th. <clears throat> See if we can get back in the saddle again. All right. There we go. I think we're back online again. We'll see how long we can keep the signal going this time. <laughs> all right. Uh the five foot six Venezuelan second baseman leads all major league players in hits and batting average while topping the American League in stolen bases. He hits sixty four multi game multi hit games, which is a franchise record and is only one of seven players in major league history to have at least two hundred hits. 43 doubles and 50 steals in a season since 1900, joining Ty Cobb in 1911 1917, Tris Speaker in 1912, uh, Benny Coff in 1914, George Sisler 1922, Craig Vigio in 1998, and Hanley Ramirez in 2007. After defeating the Atlanta Braves 3 0, the Nationals become the first team to win a National League division as well as 
second team overall to clinch a spot in the 2014 postseason. On the same day, the Baltimore Orioles beat the Toronto Blue Jays 8-2 to claim their first American League division title since 1997. Thank you there, John, for that update. I did do a refresh and come back into the stream, so I think we should be doing better now. We'll see if some people start showing back up and popping back into the stream. Did have 11 thummies up, so doing pretty good in that department. All right, September 17th, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim defeat the Mariners 6-1 to to trim their magic number to win the American League West Division 2-1. Many fans stay after the game to watch the Oakland Athletics lose to the Texas Rangers, thus guaranteeing the Angels' first division championship since 2009. On the Angel Stadium video board, the fans who stayed erupted when the Athletics-Rangers game is over, and the players pop champagne in the clubhouse and go back to the field to do a victory lap. September 21st, uh, Brett Gardner connects for the 15,000th home run in the New York Yankees franchise history, lining a solo shot to right field off Drew Hutchinson in New York's 5-2 victory over the Toronto Blue Jays as at Yankee Stadium, according to research uh, performed by Elias Sports Bureau. The Yankees become the first team to reach the milestone. The total, the total starts in 1903 in the first year the franchise started playing as Highlanders in New York. September 23rd, the Atlanta Braves re- relieved their general manager, Frank Wren, of his duties, naming longtime baseball executive John Hart as their interim general manager. Additionally, the Braves form a three-person team committee to conduct the search for the club's new general manager. It will include the team's president, Jim Sherholtz, Hart, and Hall. Phil Hughes of the Minnesota Twins starts his final game of the year and finishes with a major league record with 186 punch outs and just 16 bases on ball. His strikeout to walk ratio, 11.63, is the best in the history of Major League Baseball. The previous best was set by Brett Saberhagen at an even 11.0 in 1994. 143 and 13. And third place now belongs to Cliff Lee with 1. Point, or 10.28 in 2010. September 25th, Derek Jeter plays his final home game at Yankee Stadium. The current incarnation of the stadium being uh, nicknamed the house that Jeter built. Jeter makes the final appearance remarkable, delivering a game-winning RBI single in the bottom of the ninth inning as the New York Yankees beat the Baltimore Orioles 6-5. Just minutes after blowing a three-run lead for the record, Jeter went 2-5 for five with a double. Three runs batted in and a, a run scored to add another signature moment to a long list of achievements over his 20-year career for the Yankees. September 26, the Arizona Diamondbacks announced that manager Kirk Gibson and bench coach Alan Trammell are dismissed from their respective roles. The announcement is made 15 minutes before the news conference to introduce the new Diamondbacks general manager Dave Stewart and D. John Watson, who will serve as Senior Vice President of the Baseball Operations. Both Stewart and Watson will report directly to Chief Baseball Officer Tony La Russa. In a curious decision, the Diamondbacks announced that Tramiel will manage the final three games of the season. Gibson and Tramiel will On September 28th, Jose Altuve of the Houston Astros enters MLB record books by claiming the first batting crown in the club's 52-year history. Altuve has added to the Astros lineup after a team reversed course on its original de- decision to bench him, even against his wishes, in an attempt to protect his lead in the American League batting race. Altuve responds with a double and a single in four at-bats in an 8-3 season-ending loss to the New York Mets in Citi Field to lead all Major League hitters with a 
341 batting average. Additionally, he tops the league with 225 hits, 168 singles, 56 stolen bases, while ending second in doubles with 47 and trying for sixth in war 6.5. Previously, the smallest Venezuelan second baseman had no problem earning his second all-star nod while establishing some impressive milestones before the break, when he became the fastest player in the Colt 45's Astros franchise to collect 500 hits in a career on June 18th to his 426th game. Early this month, he broke Craig Biggio's uh, franchise record of 210 hits in a season, while his 225 Hits gave him the most by a second baseman since Charlie Gehringer of the Detroit Tigers collected 227 back in 1936. Beside this, only Detroit's Ty Cobb reached more hits, doubles, stolen bases in a single season than Altuve, 248, 83, and 47 in 1911. On September the 29th, the Minnesota Twins relieve their longtime manager Ron Gardenhire of his duties. The team announces a shortstop for the New York Mets from 1981 through 85. Gardenhire has been with the Twins organization since 1988. First as a ma- uh, minor league manager and then for 11 years as the team's third base coach before replacing manager Tom Kelly Prior to the 2002 season, Gardenhire enjoyed immediate success, leading the Twins to three straight American League Central Division pennants while managing three more ALDS winners spanning 2006 to 2010 through, though in all six of his postseason appearances, they only advanced to the American League Championship Series once following the 2010 season. Gardenhire received American League Manager of the Year honors after finishing as runner-up in several prior years. The last four seasons have been diff- a different story for both Gardenhire and the Twins. As the team struggled to a 265 and 383 record and finished in last place in three of four years. He has one more year remaining on a two-year a two-year deal signed before the current season. Overall, Garden, Garden Hire posts a 1,068-1,039 record over his 13-year career at Minnesota. September 30th, the Kansas City Royals Uh, win the American League wildcard game over the Oakland Athletics at Kauffman Stadium. The game's last 12 innings with nearly five hours of playing time as Kansas City rallies from a 7-3 and 8-7. The walk-off thrilling victory sent the Royals playing in their first postseason game since 1985 when they won the World Series to the American League Division Series against the Anaheim Angels. Okay. October 1st, Brandon Crawford hits his fourth winning Grand Slam to break a scoreless tie in the National League wildcard game in PNC Park as the San Francisco Giants defeat the Pittsburgh Pirates 8 to nothing and will face the Washington Nationals in the NL Division Series. Further, Crawford becomes the first shortstop in Major League history to hit a Grand Slam in the postseason. San Francisco starter Madison Bumgarner uh, pitches a complete game four-hit shutout while his counterpart, Edinson Vol- Volquez, uh, is tagged with the loss. Okay, looks like we're still going and good here so far that I can see. Uh, let me do a refresh here on my computer to see if the chat is still alive by chance. It shows maybe it might have been dead. But okay. Looks like it's refreshing pretty good. Right back to the live chat. Does show three people watching. And we are continuing on. Okay. Going to skip some of these highlights here. All right, 
right. It looks like uh, the World Series did end up being on October 21st. The San Francisco Giants win game one of the World Series over the Kansas City Royal 7-1. to one. At uh, Kauffman Stadium, a two-run home run by Hunter Pence off James Shields fuels a three-run first inning, while Madison Boomgardner gives up only one run on three hits and in seven innings. The Giants win their seventh series game in a row, dating dating to 2010, and end a perfect season for the Royals, who had been eight and zero. The San Francisco San Francisco also ends the Royals' 11-game postseason winning streak, dating to their 1985 World Series. On October 22nd, the Kansas City Royals even the World Series against the San Francisco Giants 1-1 with a 7-2 victory over the San Francisco Giants in Game 2. The Royals break a 2-2 tie in the sixth inning by scoring five runs as the Giants use five pitches pitchers in a vain attempt to stop the attack. Billy Butler puts the Royals ahead with a run-scoring single, but the big blows are a two-run double by Salvador Perez, followed by a two-run homer by Omar Infante, both against rookie pitcher Hunter Strickland. The Ken- On October 24th, the Kansas City Royals defeat the San Francisco Giants. in Game 3 of the World Series at AT AT&T Park. Thanks to a notable bullpen performance as Kevin Herrera, Brandon Finnegan, Wade Davis, and Greg Holland combined four innings of hitless relief in the longest series in game in 22 years. Royals starter Jeremy Guthrie earns the win over Tim Hudson while Holland is credited with the save. On October 25th, The San Francisco Giants even the World Series against the Kansas City Royals two games apiece with an 11-4 win. The Giants score nine runs between the fifth and seventh inning to run away with the game. Yusmiri Pettit is the winning pitcher after another performance in long relief with three scoreless innings, his third such win of the postseason. On October 26, the San Francisco Giants take a three games to two lead over the Kansas City Royals. In the World Series with another outstanding pitching performance by Madison Boomgarner, who tosses a four-hit, 5-0 complete game shutout. Boomgarner strikes, sorry about that, uh, eight batters and does not issue a walk while pitching the first complete game shutout in any World Series since J- Josh Beckett of the Florida Marlins at Yankee Stadium in 2003 and the first by a Giants pitcher since Jack Stanford, who hurled one against the Yankees in 1962. Uh, October 28th, the Kansas City Royals force a seventh game in the World Series by t- routing the San Francisco Giants to Kauffman Stadium 10 to nothing. Uh, behind the pitching of rookie Giordano Ventura in Game 6, the Royals score seven runs in the second inning to chase starter Jake Peavy as every starting position player collects at least a hit and either a run scored or a run batted in. On October 29th, the San Francisco Giants win Game 7 of the World Series over the Kansas City Royals 3-2 to to clinch their third championship in five games. In five years, I'm sorry. Appearing for the third time in the series, Madison Boomgardner pitches the last five innings without giving up a run to earn the save, completing an otherworldly pitching performance that earns him the World Series Most Valuable Player Award. October 31st, the Chicago Cubs announced the hiring of Joe Madden as their team's 54th manager. Madden replaces... Uh, Rick Renteria, who had managed the Cubs to a 73-89 and record in his only season for the team. Madden has posted a .517 career winning percentage, 781 wins and 729 losses, which include not only his nine seasons with the Tampa Bay Rays, but also brief interim stints with the Angels in 1996 through and 1999 with Madden at the at the helm, the Rays won the Ameri- the 
two American League division titles, made the playoffs four times, and claimed the American League pennant in 2008 en route to the 2008 World Series, which they lost to the Philadelphia Phillies. On October 24th, Madden exercised an option out clause on his contract with the Tampa Bay Club, which he managed from 2006 through 2014. All right, November 3rd, the Minnesota Twins hire Paul Molitor as their new manager, agreeing to a three-year contract for the Hall of Famer, a St. Paul, Minnesota native, and a University of Minnesota alumni. Molitor played for the Twins from 1996 to 1998, his last three major league seasons. Malter was part of the Twins' coaching staff in 2014 and was immediately considered the frontrunner to replace dismissed manager Ron Gardenhire. November 4th, Tony Francona of the Cleveland Indians agreed to a two-year extension through 2018 with the club for both the 2019 and 2020 season. November 6th, the Los Angeles Dodgers announced the hires of general manager Farhan Zaida and senior vice president baseball operations Josh Burns. On November 10th, Buck Showalter of the Baltimore Orioles and so without further ado, we will get into this as soon as I can see we're back online. It looks like we are back online yet again. MPLA make Panini licensed again. Did they? Or are you asking that they do? I don't know. I think Tops has it for quite some time unless they unless they de- decide to negotiate. I can't see why they would do something different. But I could be wrong there. You never know. So other than that, we will continue on here. It looks like things are resetting. I do have the live chat open still. And I'm let me get do a refresh on my iMac here. See if we can get back into the stream here. And we are going to get ready to open up this baseball card set here. Mickey Mantle needs to be tops. <laughs> I like that. Mickey Mantle needs to be tops. Well, at least you're hanging out with me still, John. We do have 12 thumbs up. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, it does show when when the, the internet dies on the signal that I'm still uh, live on my phone. So... I wish I was a baller. I wish I was a little bit taller. (laughs) We're only as tall as God makes us there, John. (laughs) But it does get interesting sometimes when we are short. Oops. Trying to put my knife up there and it tried to pop back open. So we're going to go through this baseball card set as quickly as possible. I don't really like doing it super, super fast, but we will see how we can roll along here. But we're going to open up this set. This is the the first set from the other ones that we had, from 660 to now. Now 700 cards. So we do have 700 cards in this set here. So it's going to be a nice, interesting, different type of set to do with 700 cards now. This looks almost like the guy. I watched somebody else that opened it up, but he he goes through the cards pretty quickly. (laughs) I was hoping maybe he would show up. I joined his channel and told him I was doing my set coming up here. Let me get a sip of water real quick here. Wet my whistle. But we're going to go through, I like the way he did it. I'm going to go through the variation cards here and see what vibe variation. Oh, we got a Chris Bryant rookie card. I was kind of hoping that I know that they just put in, I think it's the variation rookie cards they put in here. Yeah. Plus a five card pack of rookie variation cards. 
and I'm pretty sure these are kind of like the the short print versions like we do today because if I remember from the last set that I did that's pretty much the way it ended up so So who do we got in here? We got Jorge Soler, Jock Peterson, Archie Bradley, um, Devin Travis, and Chris Bryant. So not too bad. Jorge Soler, Jock Peterson, Archie Bradley, um, Devin... Devin Travis and Chris Bryant are our our uh variations from our bases. It looks like that one's card number 108. 192 519 Because what I'll do when I sort the box and put it back together again, it will, these cards will pair up with the ones from the base set. That's for sure. And 616. So that's our, our five variation rookies, which I'm going to set them right back by Blake here. He can keep an eye on those. And let me pull out my cards now. So we can review through this set and try and finish the stream up here. There we go. So we will go through this 700 card set, see if I can get it in somewhat equal stacks. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'll just estimate. Grab some of the cards here and throw them into stacks. And we will go through this set. Might be five. We'll see how many stacks we end up with. Okay. Oh, I don't want to drop you guys. Then as I finish them up, I'll put them back in the box. I'm on the road card hunting today, not having much luck. Pops back on. All right, it does show him back up. Let's start going through this. So Koji Yohara, Kurt Suzuki with the Twins, Taylor, Taylor Hill with the Nationals, Emilio Bonifacio with the White Sox, Stephen Vogt with the Athletics, Matt Harvey with the Mets, Br Brian Pena with the Reds, Jake Dykeman with the Phillies, uh, TJ House with the Indians, uh, Joaquin Benoit with the Padres. I think every so many cards are going to flip over. Brandon Barnes with the Rockies, Justin Ruggiano with the Seattle Mariners, Christian Vasquez with the Red Sox. L.J. Hose with the Astros, Alex Colome with the Rays, Albert Colapso, Colapso, Colaspo with the with the Braves, Henderson Alvarez with the Marlins, Drew Hutchinson with the Blue Jays, Eric Cordier with the Giants, Joe Maurer with the Twins. I'm got the circle again. Oh no. <laughs> I've got the circle again. Oh, no. <laughs> right when I went back up live again. Ethan's Elvis covers and more. How you doing, sir? We've been having such fun today. I keep losing the stream, but I keep restarting it. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Drew Storen with the Nationals. Tommy Hunter with the Orioles. Giovanni Gallardo with the Rangers. Mark Bueller. With the Blue Jays, Mike Avals with the Indians, uh, Will Middlebrooks with the Padres, uh, Jan Gomez with the Indians, 
Garrett Cole with the Pirates, Jamie Garcia with the Cardinals, Tyler Clippard with the Athletics, uh, Hector Rondon with the Cubs, New uh, John Neese with the Mets, Nick Castellanos Gold Cup card for the Tigers, future star, Junichi Tazawa with the Red Sox, uh, Josh Mill P- Pinto with the Twins, James Shields with the Padres, Nick Hun- Hundley with the Rockies, Yasmiro Pettit with the Giants, Chris Tillman with the Orioles, Jonathan Lucroy with the Brewers, Lorenzo Cain with the Royals, uh, Ben Zobris with the Athletics, uh, Lissavarto Bonilla rookie card for the Rangers, Texas Rangers team card, Jose Abreu, 2014 Rookie of the Year, Minnesota Twins, 2014 record, 70 and 92, Devin Travis, rookie card for the Blue Jays, Steven Sousa Jr. with the Blue Rays, Larry Garcia with the White Sox, and Dalton Simmons with the Braves, Dodgers record, 94 and 68, Clayton Kershaw, 2014 National League MVP, J.J. Hardy, Baltimore Orioles. Get our next stack in here. See how far we can get here before I lose my internet again. (laughs) Jared Dyson. Jared Dyson. Uh, With the Royals. Jeremy Hellickson with the D-backs. Seattle Mariners 2014 record 87 and 75. Lonnie Christen Hall goes five for five with three home runs, nine RBIs in a career game with Freddie Indians. Jordan Zimmerman, no hitter to close the regular season. San Francisco Giants record 88 and 74. Milwaukee Brewers record 82 and 80. Tampa Bay Rays record 77 and 85. Uh, Matt Holliday with the Cardinals, Pat Neshek with the Astros, David Fries with the Angels, Elian Herrera with the Brewers, Desmond Jennings with the Rays, New York Yankees record 84 and 78, Miami Marlins record 77 and 85, Josh Beckett no hitter in final season, Clayton Kershaw 2014 National League Cy Young Award winner. St. Louis Cardinals record, 90 and 72. Xavier Scruggs, rookie card for the Cardinals. Homer Bailey, Cincinnati Reds. Erasmus Ramirez with the Brewers. Wei Yin Chin with the Orioles. Houston Astros record, 70 and 92. Jacob DeGrom, 2014 National League Rookie of the Year. Uh, Mike Trout, 2014 American League MVP. Awesome. <laughs> Ethan, have you seen what 2021 Tops opening day looks like? It will have autographs also. Uh, set size is going to be larger. Oh, my word. They're going to make it a larger set next year, huh? Uh, Philadelphia Phillies record, 73-89. and 89. Uh, Jorman Rodriguez with the Reds rookie card. Denard Spann with the Nationals. Uh, Martin Maldonado with the Brewers. Caleb Joseph with the Royals, Craig Kimbrell with the Braves, Joe Panic, uh, clutch double play to end Royals World Series Game 7 rally, Cleveland Indians record 85 and 77, John Holdscomb rookie card for the Pirates, uh, Jan Jervis Solarte with the Padres, Omar Infante with the Royals, Alex Wood with the Braves, Jimmy Rollins become becomes Phillies hit leader. Chicago White Sox record seventy three and eighty nine. Nate McClough, Washington Nationals. Greg Gregor Blanco with the Giants. Alex Gordon with the Royals. Delman Young with the Orioles. Boston Red Sox record seventy one and ninety one. Rajai Davis with the Tigers. Willie Peralta with the Brewers, 
Corey Kluber, 2014 American League Cy Young Award winner, and Scott Feldman with the Astros. Okay. Let me move into this last stack here while we keep going here. Still got a signal. It's trying to hang in there. It's getting me worried here. Jerome Williams with the Phillies. Uh, Ryan Rue, rookie card for the Rangers. Darren O'Day with the Orioles. Eraldis Visciano with the Braves. Chris Iannetta with the Angels. Chris Coughlin with the Cubs. Matt Latos with the Marlins. Mark Trumbo with the D-backs. Archie Bradley, rookie card for the D-backs. Back to flipping them over again now for these, uh, the portrait cards. All right. Uh, Neftali Feliz with the Rangers. Christian Bergman with the Rockies. Ryan Hannigan with the Red Sox. Russell Martin with the Blue Jays. Roberto Osuno, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Raciel Iglesias, rookie card for the Reds. Patrick Corbin with the D-backs. Jose Quintana with the White Sox. Ryan Flaherty with the Orioles. Chris Bryant. Oh, there we go. There's there's the duplicate here for the Chris Bryant here. We can put that in here. So I think if I look on the back, yes, so one is the base and one is the short print. They call it a variation, but that back in the day used to be the way they did the short prints. So we'll throw that one right there for now. Let me see if I can... Uh, can't remember if we pulled these out. Archie Bradley, Jock Peterson, Solar, but I remember the Chris Bryant, the Chris Bryant rookie part, rookie card. So cool awesomeness there. Both uh, the regular and the short print back in the day. Okay. Chris Bryant may be getting traded. All right. Jason Burgius with the Reds. James Paxton with the Mariners. Future star. Grant Balfour with the Rays. Uh, Kyle Lose with the Brewers. Micah Johnson, rookie card for the White Sox. John Lackey with the Cardinals. Uh, Chris Capuna with the Yankees. Logan Morrison with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Jimmy Rollins with uh, the Dodgers. D. Gordon with the Marlins when he was playing with them. I think D. Gordon just left us this season. I don't know where he's going next for sure. Jung Ho Kong, rookie card for the Pirates. David Price with the Tigers. Uh, Wilmer Flores with the Mets. Tyson Ross with the Padres. Phil Goslin with the Braves. Uh, Robbie Grossman with the Astros. Uh, Robinson Chirinos with the Rangers. Aaron Hicks with the Twins. Mike Leak with the Reds. Uh, Jonathan Broxton with the Brewers. Uh, Brad Boxberger with the Rays. Wade Davis with the Royals. Colton Wong, Gold Cup card, future star. Darren Ruff with the Phillies. Macier Estiris with the Blue Jays. Brad Ziegler with the D-backs. Colin McHugh with the Astros, Justin Smoke with the Blue Jays, Chris Bassett, rookie card for the Athletics, and Abadil Herrera with the Phillies. So I'm back. Hope he goes to the Red Sox. All right, let me put these in the box real quick, and then we'll move on to our, our next stack. Trying to move along a little bit quicker than I usually do, just to, so I don't have to keep restarting the stream too many times here. Hopefully not. <laughs> but let's continue on here. So Miguel Cabrera with the Tigers, Adrian Gonzalez with the Dodgers, Julio Tehran with the Braves, CJ Cron with the Angels, Future Star, Miguel Nuno with the D-backs. Carlos Gomez with the Brewers. Trevor Rosenthal with the Cardinals. Brian Dozier with the Twins. 
David De Jesus with the Blue Jays. Uh, future. No, no, didn't have future star. I thought I saw a future star on there. Travis Wood with the Cubs. Don't mind me. Miggy, Miggy. <laughs> Dylan Lee with the Mets. Edwin Encarnacion with the Blue Jays. Carlos Beltran with the Yankees. Danny Espinosa with the Nationals. Troy Tulowitzki with the Rockies. Cliff Lee with the Phillies. Jock Peterson. There we go. Jock Peterson with the Dodgers. I knew we had a Jock Peterson in here. Oops. Sorry. Got to lay these out here so I can see them. Not that the pictures will match up, but that way I can see the, the players' names here for the rookie variations. So there we have it. The, the base card on the right and the short print card with him running the bases on the left. Awesome card there. Okay. So let's continue on here. Uh, Dexter Fowler. I'm going to move those over so I can see him easier. Uh, with the Astros. So what do we got? Uh, uh, Bradley, Solar, and Travis, right? Put them in alphabetical order. Uh, Fowler. Uh, Dexter Fowler with the Astros, Brian Morris with the Marlins, Gary Brown, rookie card for the Giants, um, Eric Cosmer with the Royals, Ian Kennedy with the Padres, Rushni Castillo, rookie card for the Red Sox, Matt Dominguez with the Astros, Tommy Medica with the Padres, Bryce Brents, rookie card for the Red Sox, Ross Detwell, Weiler with the Rangers. Tyler Mastek with the Rockies. Jario Diaz. Or is it Jario Diaz with the Rockies? Rookie card. Rafael Yona. Rookie card for the Rockies. Freddie Galvis with the Phillies. Jason Rogers. Rookie card for the Brewers. Uh, Matt Adams with the Cardinals. Jimmy Nelson with the Brewers. Uh, Luke. Gregerson with the Astros, Carlos Carrasco with the Indians, Stephen Drew with the Yankees. We're hanging in there so far, it looks like. AJ Pullock with the Diamondbacks. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Jose Perella, rookie card for the Yankees. Grady Sizemore with the Phillies. Rayonis Elias, future star gold cup card for the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Chris Sale with the White Sox. Danny Duffy with the Royals. Yasmani Tomas. Rookie card for the D-backs. Juan Perez with the Giants. Michael Brantley with the Indians. Carlos Martinez with the Cardinals. Future star. Okay. Put that in the box and get the next stack out. Okay. All right, Michael Saunders with the Blue Jays, uh, Chase Anderson with the D-backs, A.J. Ellis with the Dodgers, Derek Collin with the Rangers, Hector Santiago with the Angels, uh, Dallas Kuchel with the Astros, Jake McGee with the Blue Rays, Jose Altuve with the Astros. We got Andrew McCutcheon with the Pirates. We got... Tipsy Topsy Turvy for sure. Peter Boras with the Cardinals. What the heck? <laughs> Latroy Hawkins with the Rockies. Chris Taylor with the Seattle Mariners. AJ Przinski with the Braves. Kenley Jansen with the Dodgers. Nick Martinez with the Rangers. Hanley Ramirez with the Red Sox. Mike Fears with the Brewers. Ian Desmond with the Nationals. Jason Hamill with the Cubs. Jordan Schaefer with the Twins. We've got uh, Joe Panic with the Giants, future star. Milky Cabrera with the White Sox. Chase Headley with the Yankees. Matt Shoemaker with the Angels, future star. Skip Shoemaker with the Reds. Cody Ash with the Phillies. Gavin Floyd with the Indians. Will Venable with the Padres. Uh, Victor Martinez with the Tigers. J.A. Happ with the Seattle Mariners. There's left behind. 
I thought he might pop in here one of these Seattle Mariner screamings. Cole Calhoun with the Angels. Brett Oberholzer with the Astros. Brandon Guyer with the Rays. Josh Colmenter with the D-backs. Jeff Locke with the Pirates. Um, Mitch Moreland with the Texas Rangers. Uh, uh, Let Behind Ethan's Elvis Covers is more saying hi in case you're driving still. Uh, Chris Davis with the Orioles. Jared Cosart with the Marlins. Uh, Aaron Loop with the Blue Jays. Justin Verlander with the Tigers. And Danny Farquhar with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> All right. Let me put these in the box. We're moving along at a pretty good clip here. I'm going to try and grab. This is a little bit bigger stack than I usually do, but I wanted to try and finish this stack off. Uh, Zoilo Almonte with the Braves. Marco Sutcar Sut Scutaro with the Giants, Drew Stubbs with the Rockies, Angel Pagan with the Giants, Ryan Rayburn with the Indians, Corey Hart with the Pirates, um, Hector Noshi with the White Sox, uh, Billy Butler with the Athletics, Marcel Azuna with the Marlins, uh, Kyle Hendricks with the Cubs, Juris Familia with the Mets. Danny Santana, Future Star Gold Cup card with the Twins. Justin Masterson with the Red Sox. Trevor Plouffe with the Twins. Max Scherzer with the Nationals. John Danks with the White Sox. Ivan Nova with the Yankees. Rafael Montero, Future Star for the Mets. Johnny Cuto with the Reds. Um... A.J. Griffin with the Athletics, Christian Bentecourt, future star for the Braves, Nick Swisher with the Indians, A.J. Burnett with the Pirates, Justin Morneau with the Rockies, Cameron Mabin with the Padres, Alfredo Simon with the Tigers, or Don Natsan, I know what you meant, and yep, I, I, I caught the circles, should pop back on just in a second here, Jorge De La Rosa with the Rockies, Travis Ishikawa with the Giants, Christopher Negron with the Reds, Pittsburgh Pirates, Cervelli, Jay Bruce with the Cincinnati Reds, Marcus Simeon with the Athletics, Mookie Betts with the Red Sox, Future Star, Adam LaRoche with the White Sox, Alex Rodriguez, I think he's, no, that, that's right, Derek Jeter's card number one in this set, Alex Rodriguez with the Yankees, Ruffnant Odor, Future Star with the Rangers, Jake Arrieta with the Cubs, Kyle Gibson with the Twins, Future Star John Singleton with the Astros, Brian Shaw with the Indians, Will Myers with the San Diego Padres, Daniel Des Descalso with the Rockies, James Jones with the Seattle Mariners, and Albert Pujols with the Angels. F.J. the King is back in the house again. Yeah, I think Ethan's hanging around somewhere there as long as he hung tight with us. Um, all I have to do is uh, do a restart on the same video. You just save it. I think this works. I don't know if this works when you're doing it from YouTube itself. But when you schedule a stream, uh, it allows you to go back in if you do lose the signal. Um, Nathan Evaldi with the Marlins, Joaquin Arias with the Giants, Chris Owings with the D-backs, Yasiel Puig with the Dodgers, Santiago Casilla with the Giants, Phil Hughes with the Twins, then we got Tyler Flowers with the White Sox, Sean Kelly with the Yankees, Sergio Santos with the Blue Jays, John Castro with the Astros, Nice new business cards, Ethan. Ethan got some new... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think his he probably has his new logo on his new business cards. Yes, Monty Grandal with the Padres. Uh, Michael Taylor, rookie card for the Nationals. Ian Kinsler with the Tigers. James Loney with the Tampa Bay Rays. James McCann, rookie card for the Tigers. Michael Bourne with the Indians. Right, uh, Sonny Gray with the Athletics. 
Uh, R.A. Dickey with the Blue Jays. Marcus Stroman, future star for the Blue Jays. Steve Pierce with the Orioles. Paul Konerko with the White Sox. Charlie Furbush with the Seattle Mariners. Jose Iglesias with the Tigers. Tyler Colvin with the Giants. Aaron Sanchez with the Blue Jays. Zach Britton with the Orioles. Chris Parmalee with the Twins. Hugh Darvish with the Tigers. Trevor Bauer with the Indians. Sean Doolittle with the Athletics. Lance Lynn with the Cardinals. Um, Rex Brothers with the Rockies. Mike Fulton Witz, rookie card for the Astros. Uh, Anibal Sanchez with the Tigers. Tony Watson with the Pirates. Brandon Finnegan with the rookie card for the Royals. C.J. Wilson with the Angels. Tom Kohler with the Marlins. Brandon Belt with the Giants. Tanner Rourke with the Nationals. Paul Goldschmidt with the D-backs. What is that like the fourth card for for Goldie. Um, Jeff Baker with the Marlins. Uh, Chris Young with the Seattle Mariners. Um, Cody Allen with the Indians. Brandon Moss with the Athletics. Andrew Susek with the Giants. Tommy Kelm with the Rockies. Antonio Bastardo with the Phillies. Stephen Moya with the Tigers. Alex Avila with the Tigers. Ike Davis with the Pirates. Uh, Dalton Pompey, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Al Albert Albert Quirk Wow, that's a mouthful to say. Al Albert Quirk Probably saying it wrong with the Tigers. Pedro Alvarez with the Pirates. Reimer Liriano, rookie card for the Padres. Alejandro de Aza with the Royals. Brett Gardner with the Yankees. Jordan Zimmerman with the Nationals. John Axford with the Pirates. Scott Casimir with the Athletics. And Dominic Leone with the Seattle Mariners. I meant to pull it. To pull it, I'll throw a party. If Chris Bryant gets traded. <laughs> All right, let me go into the next part of this stack here. FJ, same way I felt when Kenny Lofton left the Braves. We'll see you now. Go laugh out loud. He didn't he did not fit the makeup of the team. <laughs> Ryan Goins with the Blue Jays. Ken Giles with the Phillies. Brett Cecil with the Blue Jays, CC Sabathia with the Yankees, Chris Medlin with the Royals, Nick Markakis with the Braves, Hunter Strickland, rookie card for the Giants, Kevin Mercedes, with rookie card for the Tigers, Matt Clark, uh, rookie card for the Brewers, Jared Parker with the Athletics, uh, Jose Lobaton with the Nationals, Cody Ross with the D-backs, Anthony Desclafani with the Reds, Tori Hunter with the Twins, Jose Ramirez with the Indians, Andrew Chafin, rookie card for the D-backs, Matt Sizzure, how do you say that? Sizzure, rookie card for the Cubs. Sam Freeman with the Cardinals, Travis D'Arnaud, rookie or Gold Cup card, future star for the Mets, Ender Encarte with the D-backs, DJ LeMahieu with the Rockies, Chris Heston, rookie card for the Giants, Danny Salazar, Cleveland Indians, David Robertson with the White Sox, Kevin Gossman with the Orioles, Acevedo Garcia for the White Sox, Tanner Sheps with the Rangers, Luke Hashever with the Royals, uh, Jake Marcinek with the Astros, Brett, Brett Bochy, uh, rookie card for the Giants, um, Brandon McCarthy with the Dodgers, Francisco Lariano with the Pirates, Eduardo Nunez with the Twins, Brennan Bosch with the Cincinnati Reds, 
Bronson Arroyo with the D-backs, Avi Guerrero with the White Sox, Joe Kelly with the Red Sox, Irvin Santana with the Twins, Astrobo Cabrera with the Blue Jays, Travis Snyder with the Orioles, we got a future star Gold Cup, Devin Balanches with the Yankees, Jason Grilly with the Braves, Prince Fielder with the Rangers, Carlos Gonzalez with the Rockies, rookie card for Christian Walker with the Orioles, rookie card Terrence Gore with the Royals, Jed Lowry with the Astros, Jose Fernandez with the Marlins, and Oswaldo Arcia with the Twins. So nice stack there, still hanging in on the stream. See if we can get away with two resets, or one reset <laughs> so far. Mike Mustakas with the Royals. Um, Ruben Tejada with the Mets. Drew Smiley with the Rays. Edini Hachaveria with the Marlins. Nick Franklin with the Rays. Marwin Gonzalez with the Astros. Juan Uribe with the Dodgers. Randall Gritchick with the Cardinals. Uh, R.J. Alvarez with the Athletics rookie card. Rookie card Miguel Alfredo Gonzalez with the Phillies. Jordan Walden with the Cardinals. John Lester with the Cubs. Wade Miley with the Red Sox. Alex Rios with the Royals. David Ortiz Papi with the Red Sox. Alexi Am Amarista with the Padres, Kevin Franson with the Nationals, uh, Tsuyoshi Wada with the Cubs, uh, Tuffy Goosewitch with the D-backs, Jake Smolinski with the Rangers, Sam Tuiviala, rookie card for the Cardinals, <laughs> Carlos Frias, rookie card for the Dodgers, Rookie card, Eric Godel with the Mets. Robinson Cano with the Seattle Mariners. Carlos Sanchez with the White Sox. Adam Lind with the Brewers. Anthony Ghost with the Tigers. Sam Fold with the Athletics. Yadier Molina with the Cardinals. And Michael Kudger with the Mets. All right. Next to last stack. Let's see what we get here next. Okay. All right. We got Eric Young with the Mets. Adrian Beltre with the Rangers. Bud Norris with the Orioles. Brian Dunsing with the Twins. Um, Alex Cobb with the Rays. Freddie Freeman with the Braves. Ryan Brown with the Brewers. Tyler Skaggs, R.I.P., with the Angels. Was with the Angels. Uh, Jared Weaver with the Angels. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Never mind. Jared Weaver. Steve Sishik with the Marlins. Brandon Hicks with the Giants. Gags maybe is it with the Angels? Evan Gaddis with the Braves, Bryce Harper with the Nationals, uh, Carl Crawford with the Dodgers, Madison Boomgarner with the Giants, uh, Juan Lagares with the Mets, future star card, Araldus Chapman with the Reds, John Jaso with the Athletics, uh, De David Murphy with the Indians, Jonathan Papablan. Papelbon with the Phillies, Hin Jin Ru with the Dodgers, Charlie Blackman with the Rockies, rookie card for Corey Spangenberg with the Padres, Alex Presley with the Astros, Charlie Morton with the Pirates, <coughs> uh, Kendall Graveman, rookie card for the Blue Jays, Jeremy Guthrie with the Royals, Jed Giorco with the Padres, Brian Mitchell, rookie card for the Yankees, Jason Vargas with the Royals, uh, Jesse Hahn with the Padres, Gold Cup card future star for Jose Abreu with the Chicago White Sox, Carlos Santana with the Indians, 
Jesse Chavez with the Athletics, Jake Peavy with the Giants, Dustin Pedroia with the Red Sox, Lucas Duda with the Mets, Jonathan Shute with the Orioles, Jonathan Schwarzak with the Twins, Logan Forsyth with the Rays, Scooter Gannett with the Brewers, Shelby Miller with the Cardinals, Josh Hamilton with the Angels, Dustin Ackley with the Seattle Mariners, and Daisuke Matsuzaka with the Mets. Right, he's in the box here. Move on to our next section in this stack. Clayton Kershaw with the Dodgers. Tim Hudson with the Giants. Xander Bogarts, Gold Cup card, future star for the Red Sox. Zach Cozart with the Reds. David Peralta with the D-backs. Willen Rosario with the Rockies. Marlon Bird with the Phillies. Uh, Yimmy Garcia, rookie card for the Dodgers. Jordan Lyles with the Rockies. Carlos Ruiz with the Phillies. Trevor May, rookie card for the Twins. Greg Holland with the Royals. Yonder Alonso with the Padres. Matt Barnes, rookie card for the Red Sox. Salvador Perez Kent with the Royals. Andrew Kashner with the Padres. Uh, Masahiro Tanaka, Gold Cup card, future star for the Yankees. Clay Bullschultz with the Red Sox. Curtis Granderson with the Mets. Elvis Andrus with the Rangers. We've got some horizontal cards here now. Kansas City Royals record 89-73. Cubs record 73-89. Evan Longoria with the Rays. Mike Trout with the Angels. Kluber, Scherzer, Weaver, American League wins leaders. Jason Hayward with the Braves. Toronto Blue Jays record 83 and 79. Atlanta Braves record 79-83. Andre Ether for the Dodgers. New York Mets record 79-83. Salvador Perez, Royals. Walk off and Major League Wild Card game. Stanton, Rizzo, and Duda, National League home run leaders. Jason uh, Kipnis with the Indians. Madison Boomgardner, World uh, World Series game one. Adam Eaton, Chicago White Sox. Aaron Hill with the D-backs. Morneau, Harrison McCutcheon. National League, Cruz, Carter, and Trout, American League home run leaders, Chase Utley with the Philadelphia Phillies, Arizona D-backs record 64-98, Shinsu Chu, Texas Rangers, Jordy Mercer with the Pirates, Cole Hamels with the Phillies, Manny Machado with the Orioles, Detroit Tigers record 90-72, Chris Johnson with the Braves, Ben Revere with the Phillies, these cards in the box here getting close to our last last stack in the box coming up all right eric sogard with the athletics kershaw Cuto, and wainwright national league wins leaders gonzalez stanton and upton national league rbi leaders angels record 96 and 64 Miguel Montero with the D-backs. Brandon Belt with the Giants. Washington Nationals record, 96 and 66. Belt trade, 2,500 hits for the Rangers. Oakland Athletics record, 88-74. Altuve, Martinez, and Brantley, American League batting average leaders. Trout, Cabrera, and Cruz, American League RBI leaders. Madison Boomgardner, 2014 World Series Game 5. Reds record 76 and 86. Felix Hernandez with the Seattle Mariners. Michael Wacha with the Cardinals. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates record 88 and 74. Todd Frazier with the Reds. Kershaw, Cuto, Wainwright, National League ERA leaders. 
San Diego Padres record, 77 and 85. Derek Cheater, the captain, plays his final game at Yankee Stadium. That is 319, not the single player card. Clayton Kershaw pitches first, no career, no hitter for the Dodgers. Starlin Castro with the Cubs. Jackie Bradley Jr. with the Red Sox. Hernandez, Sale, and Kluber, American League ERA leaders. Madison Boomgardner, World Series Game 7. Josh Donaldson, Oakland Athletics. Eunice Cespeda with the Red Sox. Bautista, Jose Bautista with the Blue Jays. Hunter Pence, World Series Game 4. Kenny Vargas, Minnesota Twins. Colorado Rockies, record 66 and 96. Kyle Seeger with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Baltimore Orioles, 2014 record, 96 and 66. Uh, Matt Keane with the Giants. Jacob DeGrom, future star with the Mets. Josh Harrison with the Pirates. Rick Porcello with the Tigers. Shane Green with the Yankees. And Kevin Kiermeyer with the Rays. Okay. Put these back in the box here. Getting close. Last stack coming up. Okay. One more stack to go. We'll get through this today with all the, the restarts. <laughs> all right. This one's gone for the longest amount of time. 19 minutes roughly so far. We're rolling along. <laughs> Oh boy. All right. So BJ Upton with the Braves. Joey Votto with the Reds. Josh Reddick with the Athletics. Lyle Overbay with the Brewers. Connor Gillespie with the White Sox. David Phelps with the Yankees. Anthony Rendon with the Nationals. JD Martinez with the Tigers. <clears throat> Mark Melancon with the Pirates. Uh, Daniel Norris, rookie card for the Blue Jays. David Lowe with the Orioles, Carlos Quinton with the Padres, Nick Tropiona, piano, 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 almost like a piano, Tropiano, rookie card for the Astros, Garrett Richards with the Angels, Brandon League with the Dodgers, Brandon Crawford with the Giants, Billy Hamilton, Gold Cup card and future star for the Reds, Martin Prado with the Yankees, Christian Yelich with the Marlins, Fernan Rodney Fernando Rodney with the Seattle Mariners, Mr. Bow and Arrow Guy. Mr. Bow and Arrow Guy. Iris Mendy Alcantara with the Cubs. Adam Jones with the Orioles. Glenn Perkins with the Twins. Matt Joyce with the Rays. Uh, let's see if we can get through this last stack here. The last two sections of the stream. All right, Devin Messaraco with the Reds, Craig Gentry with the Athletics, Alexi Ramirez with the White Sox, Jacoby El Ellsbury with the Yankees, Gio Gonzalez with the Nationals, David Wright with the Mets, Daniel Nava with the Red Sox, Daniel Murphy with the Mets, Nick Tepesh with the Rangers, Tommy Lastella with the Braves, uh, Mark Reynolds with the Brewers, Matt Carpenter with the Cardinals, Addison Reed with the D-backs, Guy Giancarlo Stanton with the Marlins, Adam Wainwright with the Cardinals, Buster Posey with the Giants, Matt Kemp with the Dodgers, Tim Lincecum with the Giants, George Springer, Gold Cup card future star for the Astros, almost missed one, Trevor Cahill with the D-backs, uh, Chris Davis with the Brewers. Uh, Justin Upton with the Braves. Zach Duke with the Brewers. John Jay with the Cardinals. Mike Napoli with the Red Sox. Kendris Morales with the Seattle Mariners. Alex Ogando with the Rangers. Anthony Rizzo with the Cubs. Bartolo Colon. Where's John? John Fishman still in here? He probably left us, huh? All right. Time to finish off this set. And then I'll say a pretty quick goodbye. All right. So let's see what we got here. Gordon Beckham 
with the Angels, Brian McCann with the Yankees, Doug Fister with the Nationals, uh, Brian Schlitter with the Cubs, Michael Panetta with the Yankees, D.D. Gregorius with the D-backs, Michael Gonzalez with the Orioles, Eduardo Escobar, Fogo Power de la Pica, before they came, before he came to the D-backs, when he was with the Twins there, Kevin, in case you watched the replay. Jake Odorizzi with the Rays. Uh, Matt Garza with the Brewers. Johnny Peralta with the Cardinals. Er Erardo Barra with the Brewers. Jared Saltalmachia with the Marlins. Andrew Haney with the Marlins. Uh... Eric Ibar with the Angels, Zach Grinke with the Dodgers, Hunter Pence with the Giants, um, Garrett Jones with the Marlins, Edwin Mujica with the Red Sox, Carlos Torres with the Mets, Michael Choice with the Rangers, Brandon Phillips with the Reds, Brian Z Ryan Zimmerman with the Nationals, Nolan Arenado with the Rockies, Drew Pomerantz with the Athletics, Mike Zanino with the Seattle Mariners, Corey Dickerson with the Rockies. Let's see if I can finish this before we lose the stream again. David Buchanan with the Phillies, Anthony Renato, rookie card for the Red Sox, Austin Jackson with the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> Neil Walker with the Pirates, Michael Franco, rookie card for the Phillies, Tony Sip with the Astros, Vance Worley with the Pirates, Jake Lamb, rookie card for the D-backs, Jordan Ventura with the Royals, Gregory Polanco with the Pirates, um, Daniel Corsino with the Reds, Mark Texiera with the Yankees, Jason Worth with the Nationals, Junior Lake with the Cubs, Zach Wheeler with the Mets, Jose Reyes with the Blue Jays, Ubaldo Jimenez with the Orioles, uh, Chris Colabello with the Twins, Chris Archer with the Rays, Mike Miner with the Braves, uh, Ricky Nolasco with the Twins, Gene Segura with the Brewers, and Howie Kendrick with the Angels made it uh, we could have used you earlier <laughs> who's that Evan Gaddis was an all round nice guy and he has had, has had mental challenges Why? that's why he retired okay I understand okay but we did it we finished the box it's back in the next step all I have to do is put them in order from cards number one through 701 and you say 701 there's only 700 cards yes but there is no card seven if you look at the checklist if you look at the checklist there is no card seven so there is actually 701 cards in the set but i'll go ahead and uh show this is the checklist they put on the bottom of the boxes i think i didn't show that last time and stuff but so you do have card number one is Derek Jeter. Card number 319, I think it was, wasn't it? Is Derek Jeter. So that's the two Derek Jeters in this set. But awesome set nonetheless. And so with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sign off since we've had such a struggle here. I do got to take my wife her phone because she took the wrong phone with her today. So she might try and call me and she won't be able to. But other than that, I'm going to turn the, turn the camera around real quick. So you guys can see me. This is Donald Blondahl, Hall of Fame vet, Hall of Fame veterans, sports cards, and collectibles. Having been live to you from Arlington, Washington. After all the resets and everything like that, I did end up with 14 thumbs up. Appreciate that. Appreciate everybody that was able to help out and pop back in and out during the problems we had. But at least it looks like the whole video should load up because it does record each segment that I do until I reset the, the stream. So uh, hopefully... SSP card Jonathan popped in at the end here I see 
Appreciate people showing up in the stream here as we get ready to say goodbye and sign off for today. If I don't see you all tomorrow, you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll either do the live tomorrow or if I have it pre-recorded, I might do a box opening in the evening. But that would depend on when Ethan finishes his sale. I don't want to step on his toes tomorrow and have people come into my stream while he's got a sale going on. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. We will see you all, all tomorrow. I wear, This is my t-shirt I am wearing. Okay, my Topps baseball t-shirt. And other than that, we will see you all tomorrow, that's for sure. Either with my recorded lecture for tomorrow. I'll probably do it that way because I do, I do have to help my daughter with uh, the Thanksgiving Day dinner tomorrow. Getting that ready because my wife will be working tomorrow. And we'll get home early afternoon, probably after lunchtime tomorrow. So in time for our dinner with our family. Uh, our my, our niece and her mom and her fiance are coming over to have Thanksgiving dinner with us tomorrow. So until then, y'all take care. Have a wonderful and blessed day, and we will see you the next time. Bye for now.